Hello guys, full time from Porto and Arsenal have been beaten 1-0 here, a stoppage time goal. A uh, good hit from outside the box, dipped over David Raya and into the far corner. Not a great game, I'll tell you that, not a great game. And I've certainly seen many matches I've endured, sorry, enjoyed more. Maybe that's a Freudian slip to say endured. did feel a bit like I was enduring this at times. Something like 30-odd fouls in the game, very bitty, very stop-start. That's what Porto will have wanted. And I was watching this and thinking, well, Porto would be pretty happy with a nil-nil here. You know, and there may not be the away goals rule anymore, but they would have been happy taking a nil-nil to the Emirates and taking their chances and hoping they could nick something on the counter. And frankly, I think Arsenal should have been pretty happy with a nil-nil as well. But they were guilty of trying to play out, trying to win it on the break in the final moment. So Martinelli attempted cross-field pass, cut out, and the ball ends up in the Arsenal net. This match really was ability versus experience. A lot of these Arsenal players have never played at this stage of the competition. I think only really Kai Havertz has experience in the knockout stage of the Champions League. And Mikel Arteta spoke yesterday about his players being excited. But I think that excitement boiled over into nerves a little bit early on. We saw some uncharacteristic errors from the likes of Declan Rice and William Saliba. Porto have got so much experience. I mean, they've got a 40-year-old centre-half in Pepe who's been there, done that. They've got a manager with a lot of experience in this competition in Sergio Conchichal. And they used every part of that experience, every inch of it. I mean, you need only look at set-pieces. Set-pieces have been such an area of strength for Arsenal where they've been such a threat in recent weeks. And Porto nullified that, and they did it with gamesmanship, with being physical, with going to ground whenever they needed to. Ability versus experience, and experience won. Arsenal showed their inexperience in those final moments. I, I don't want to kill them for it, because I think, you know, they very nearly came away from this with the nil-nil Arsenal, and I don't think that would have been a bad result. You know, we played Porto, I think, six times in the Champions League, before tonight we'd never won here but we won every home game very handsomely an aggregate score across the three games of 11 goals to nil um, so you know I think Arsenal had every reason to believe a nil nil here would have left them in a very good position in the tie obviously one nil it, listen they're still in pretty healthy position I still think they've got every chance of winning the home legs significantly and by a scoreline that will take them through but I, I look forward to seeing what Mikel Arteta says about those final few moments. How frustrated is he with the naivety his team showed? I think he's signalled, really, by making one substitution, and that being Jorginho for Trossard, a more defensive-minded player for an attack-minded player, that he was happy. He was happy with the nil-nil. Um, yeah, and, it, and ultimately, just a bit of naivety on the part of the players has cost Arsenal pretty dear. On the goal itself, obviously there was the giveaway. Could the goalkeeper have done better, been better positioned? Maybe, looked like he might have dived a little bit early. I think it's a good strike. I think it's a good strike as well. Um, and at the other end of the pitch, you've got to say, Arsenal didn't have a shot on target. And if you don't have a shot in target, on target in the game, you leave yourself vulnerable, don't you? I remember saying that after the Newcastle match, you know, where we lost by a goal that many felt was unjust. But if you don't create anything yourself, there's always the risk. There's always the risk of a dodgy refereeing decision or someone putting the ball in the net from 30 yards like happened tonight. It was a lesson for the players tonight. I think they will have learned a lot. I'm sure Michael Arteta will be talking to them now about the lessons they can take from this. Was what Porto did, the way they played, the way they went about the game, somewhat cynical? Yes. But can you understand that? Given the respective budgets of the two teams, given the fact that Porto's domestic form has not been great this season, I think they'd only won one of their last three league games. They were right to be cynical. They were right to be cynical. Um, so there you go. Congratulations to Porto. They've got the win. Arsenal, a lot of work to do. A lot of work to do and a lot of lessons to be learned. Uh, and another game to come on Saturday against Newcastle. Big, big game, that one. So, uh, yeah, we'll see how we respond. All right, take care, guys. Speak to you all soon. Bye-bye.